guys, what is up? This is Real American Studios, and I'm bringing you a potential brand new series on this channel. What? Well, not really a series, but so over the last few, uh, over the last couple of days, I've kind of gotten addicted to watching Shane Dawson's conspiracy theories, and I thought, hey, why not take some conspiracy theories and add my own twist to them? Like, you know, why not? So basically, you know, now my first one, like I was, th I've been thinking, uh, what should I do? Should I do the Illuminati government conspiracy theories? And I thought about it and a big one, like a really big one for me would be area 51. Now I'm going to add in my thoughts on area 51. All right. So number one, let me just go over a little bit of, uh, you know, Area 51. Uh, by the way, if you enjoy this, make sure to leave a like. Also, comment below. Uh, question today: What are your thoughts on this as a potential series, and possibly give me your thoughts on what goes on behind the scenes in these conspiracy theories? You know. And uh, also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They are both in the description below, right below. You know, you just kind of you hit that little arrow that goes down. And then you'll see the link to my Twitter, my Instagram. You can join my Discord, which is also linked below. And there are several channels linked below that I would suggest you go check out. Uh, anyways, all right. So number one, like now, let me go over a little bit of like the background for Area Fifty One. All right. So Area Fifty One became famous, you know, around a certain time point. I don't know exactly what. Should have done re more research on it. But that's not the point of the video, you know, not the research. But, you know, it became big and it became known as a place that possibly, you know, the government uses to house aliens, like crashed UFOs, alien corpses, you know. And, you know, we all know it's heavily guarded. It's a heavily guarded place. The government denied it ex its existence for a long time, you know, up until a few years ago. But... Area 51, do I believe it's, you know, do I believe it's like an alien, like a place that houses aliens? Yeah, I believe it could be. And if you think about it, you know, it's, they consider it a military base to test out drones and all that. Do I believe they do a lot of different stuff there is the question. Yes, I do. I do believe they test out drones. They test out different types of technology there. But I believe there is something going on behind the scenes, too. I do believe that there are UFOs and aliens there, you know. I do believe that. But I believe there's more going on there. So, as you can see, I'm wearing this Raptor Trainer shirt. And I have another interesting theory about Area 51 based around this. So what if the government, so we've all seen the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movies, you know. What if the government is kind of, has been trying to recreate dinosaurs and also like, or take dinosaur DNA and mix it with the DNA of different kinds of animals, you know. I know this is sounding like some sci-fi stuff, I understand that, and yeah, it very well could be. But let's just say I have an active imagination. But, you know, like, what if they're taking the DNA from dinosaurs that they have found and aliens? What if they're, you know, doing those types of experiments, like, combining it with different animals? What if they're trying to create super animals? Like, the government, we all know they're, they're behind some very shady things. Like, there's a lot of shady going on within the government. So, you know, what if... Like, just, just hypothetically, what if that is to kind of, uh, you know, what, what if they're using this Area 51 to test out the possibility of creating hybrid animals for weaponry and military use? And, like, I understand, like, maybe this doesn't make any sense. To me, it does. Why would they be heavily guarding it? Like, why, is, why do you never see, like, you don't see the, the media around it. You don't see any media or news around it. 
Like, why? What? What are they heavily guarding there? What, like, if they're just testing out drones and airplanes, why don't you ever see them around that area? Why is it built out in the middle of nowhere where people can't go? Why is it built in a dangerous place out in the middle of nowhere in Nevada? I mean, the simple. And why, like, you know, it's simple. The government doesn't want the going-ons that happens in Area 51. They don't want it leaked out. They don't want somebody to break in and steal the information and sell it to another country. And you know what? You know, like, if, the, if I die, you know, the government, I believe they're behind deaths, too. So if I'm right... I mean, you know, the government could potentially kill me if this video gets taken down for some reason. You know, government, like, there's some shady stuff going on behind the scenes. Now, have I personally been to Nevada or anywhere near Area 51? No. Like, do I actually believe what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like, kind of. Like, I could see it, but, like, you know, at the beginning I said, like, aliens, you know, do I believe Area 51's where they keep aliens? Yeah, they, they could store aliens there. Hell, the, the aliens could be helping them with this research. Like, the aliens and, like, there was a uh, Senate, like, government official in Canada who said that there are aliens that works with our government. What if our government and the aliens are planning a massive takeover? So we're experimenting with the aliens to create these super animals that can, you know, wipe out hundreds of soldiers. I mean, I mean, come on, guys! Like it, it's gonna get your head reeling. You know, this is gonna mess with your mind a little bit. But like, what if? You know, like, and you know, the government—they're probably gonna go back and watch this video. Hey, they might think I'm an idiot. All right, and listen up. All the conspiracy theories that come about come out about the government or Illuminati. Like, why do you think so many people that come up with these theories are not killed? You know, like there's there's less killed than are not killed. All right, now the ones that actually discover some stuff, they're the ones that get killed if they're about to leak important information. They mysteriously disappear. They die of, uh, you know, weird circumstances. So, yeah, do I believe the government's behind some shady stuff? Yeah, I do. But some of the stuff that's leaked out is not fact at all. You know, like it's not factual. Otherwise, the government and Illuminati would do their best to take it down. Now, there's some shady stuff going on behind the scenes, yeah. You know? Like, I do believe there's shady stuff going on behind the scenes. But, you know, like, some of the stuff that's leaked out, you can't believe it. You know, you cannot trust it. But, and my theory, you can't necessarily trust it. I just kind of wanted to, like, test the waters on this type, on these types of videos. And, you know, kind of, like, get your mind reeling. So, yeah, like, what if the government is experimenting with animals there? And they're cross cross referencing DNA between say say you know you got a cheetah it's got speed say you want to combine that cheetah with the strength of a gorilla the cunning of a wolf you know and you've got a strong fast and smart animal a super animal all right and then you take say you got T Rex DNA you know. You take the T-Rex, combine it with that cheetah, add that speed, and then you give it the ability to swim by, like, combining it with, like, a shark or a dolphin or something. You know, like, you got to think about these things, you know? Like, so, yeah, you know, I'm going to go over these videos. I'm going to, you know, give my thoughts on them, give uh, whether or not I believe them or not. I'll rate it on a believability scale of 1 to 10. Now, my, my theory, while it makes sense, 
as to why the government wants to heavily guard Area 51. I'd give it a 3 out of 10 on the believability scale. Like, this sounds like some stuff straight out of a sci-fi movie. And I promise you, I did not go and watch a movie and, like, get this idea. I literally looked, took one look at this shirt and thought, huh, you know, if I'm talking about Area 51, why not add my own twist into things? So, basically my theory, at Area 51... U.S. military slash government and extraterrestrials work together to com combine the DNA of different types of animals and even extinct animals with modern day animals to create super animals or to create super hybrids and then those super hybrids help them to take over the world. And eventually we have the perfect world where, you know, the government, the military, and the extraterrestrials rule. And, but in the end, the world becomes overrun with super hybrids. So, in the end it backfires. You know, I guess is my, you know, my whole theory here. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, you know, and let me know if you think this series, like, if I add my own twist into things, it could be interesting. This one was just kind of testing the waters, not my best work. In the future, I'll do more research into what I think is going on. And let me know videos on conspiracies that you would like to see in the future. Real American Studios out. Peace out, all of you conspiracy theorists.